This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code SHAMELESS. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's shameless after show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's shameless after show. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to After Buzz. We're doing the After Buzz show for Shameless Season 4, Episode 5, called There's the Rub. And we are so excited yes. tonight. So excited. We have a great show for you. We have some very special guests in here. Um, I'm your host, JJ Jurgens, and my co host, Drea Renee. How you guys doing? And Phil out there. Hello. I- <laughs> Where are you, Phil? Sorry, I always in make him do that while he's trying to engineer at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I did that to him last time, too. Um, and very special guest tonight. Hi. Yes, Emma Kennedy. Emma, yeah. Yeah. So glad to have you yeah. And we also have... Jake McDorman. Yay. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. We're like little kids. We're so excited. I know. I was so excited when I got the email. I was like, heck yes. yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, well, we have a bit of a dysfunctional family here on our panel, too, so we're oh, ha- yes, we, we love do. the show, and we love all the shenanigans. So Thank let's you. dive right in, and let's start talking yes. first about Kevin V and their new Rub plans to make business. some money. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I think it's good. I think it's really good that they're doing that, and I knew V was going to say yes. Like, I immediately knew she's going to be like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah, he didn't have to convince her too no, much. No, He goes yeah, on the, no. the whole diatribe that you think she's going to fire back, and he's like, yeah. Obviously, let's do that. I'm down. (laughs) Four kids. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. She's always up for anything and always up to, you know, make a little extra money especially with all these babies on the way. Yeah. Like everybody in the show is. All the Gallagher's, all the Kevin V, they're all down to make it. They're all money. down. Anyway, yeah. the yeah. they're all up for it. Yeah. <laughs> I do think it's unfair he's charging them the same as Sasha, Mickey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a little unfair, but okay. All right. You thought did Ma- you think- Mickey doesn't strike me as a fair guy. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. But I thought he'd give him a little <laughs> no. bit more, maybe just a dollar more. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, that's a yeah. good day. Yeah. For effort. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I do like what he said, though. Learn a real skill. Yeah, what is it? Learn a unique <laughs> skill. Learn a unique skill. That's great. That was really good. That definitely was one of my favorite bites of the, <laughs> the night, too. Um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, you know, usually we get the speeches from uh, Frank mm-hmm. in terms of capitalism mm-hmm. and all that. Oh, and yes, I really yes. loved um, Kev's speech tonight. Yeah, about, yeah. The, Ameri- yeah. about the American yeah. dream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was yeah. good. Yeah. Everybody started to clap in the album, but I was uh, clapping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kev, you get this. <laughs> it's so something that that clientele could get behind, too. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Doing that, I was coming yeah. with these, like, strong, powerful speeches. I like that. I mm-hmm. love Kev. I love Steve Howie. Yeah, oh, my gosh. He's great, he's really huh? amazing. Oh. I heard he's really good at imitations. Oh, my God. Wait, who did he he does a John C. Riley that's yeah. crazy. Did he done that for you? Uh, yes, he also does a monkey face for me. And it's so weird. He's like, ah. And I'm like, Steve Howe. Oh God, now I'm blushing. That was awkward. <laughs> Steve Howe is the best. Oh he's my God, so, he's so, he's yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, he's cool. He's a funny he's guy. Like yeah. that. I actually, I actually shot a movie over the uh, the hiatus with him. Did you? I did, but oh. I didn't have any. I didn't have any scenes with him in Shameless, and then we shot a movie. Didn't have any scenes with him in that either. Oh. It's just, it's not meant to be with it's, Steve yeah, Howe. Not on camera. No. Off camera, we have the best yeah. chemistry. Yeah. It's just so palpable. So you don't get to act with him. Why I have you? never, I have oh, never gotten to act with him. Oh, I've seen him act good. at the table reads, right, right, and that's right, it. Yeah. Then that's we go it. our separate ways, and that's like hilarious. two ships passing huh. in the night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. all right. Let's. Uh, anything else on Mickey? No, it's good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go back on to Lip and his search for Ian. So he gets, he's just going to the bathroom, mm. minding his own business own at business. school. I was dying. That was a great scene. <laughs> that was a really good scene. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like it's kind of like the brotherly thing where it's like they have to go after each other and 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, and nice. and too, he's got that like when he was studying in school, he has that poster. Oh yeah, like, no, no distractions. distractions. Right. And that's basically what the whole. I mean, it's an important mm-hmm. distraction mm-hmm. to find mm-hmm. Ian and everything and track him down. But it's right. it's kind of ironic that it starts that way. Even takes a book into the stall to continue studying while he's using mm-hmm. the restroom, exactly. and then he gets completely distracted. Come here's on. what oh, yeah. I, here's what I love right. about the storyline, right? Uh, up until the Ian or uh, Liam moment, mm-hmm. uh, everything was kind of resetting itself. We were finally getting the family back together, and and. A, Ian, when they found him, he was different. Mm-hmm. But at least I really like the dynamic between um, between Lip and Debbie, and especially yeah. since Fiona's been so absent, the the way they were able to talk, and while Debbie wasn't asking necessarily the direct questions, she was still getting answers in terms of growing up and whatnot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I agree. I kind of like how it's like this entire season. Really, it kind of shows you like the I don't know the proper word for it but it's kind of like the similarities kind of the similarities between all the characters and how they're so different but Mm -hmm. so relatable like the first the first scene of the season was a montage between debbie and fiona Mm -hmm. and it just shows you that's a good call yeah Yeah. Yeah. and like this one as well with like lip and debbie and really everybody has something in common well well, and fiona and deb are both right now struggling with their relationship exactly exactly and yeah and i kind of like that you know it's like the I like that Different collage you made. Mm-hmm. Similarities. <laughs> did you guys? Yeah. Did you and Jeremy shoot most of the tracking down Ian in Chicago? Was most we of that? We actually Chicago? shot the majority in L.A. We really? shot a really? lot on the Warner Brothers back lot. Um, we did the scene where we were up there with like with the woman. That was awkward. Don't was worry, that, we didn't see anything. That was in L.A. Oh, 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 were you there? Were you? Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't actually get to see anything. Not that, was that I wanted. Jarring. I was like, <laughs> oh man, I didn't get to see it, but <laughs> so you when missed she came out, out. You weren't there. You were not actually there. I was not there. Okay. They flipped the camera, and I was in so school like, at that time. But we shot that on Halloween. They put you in school. That's how far away you were. You trust me. You were in a better place. Yeah. You were in a better place, girl. Yeah. What was it like having that time, the adventure that you and Lip go on, and kind of you're kind of asking him questions, and you guys are bonding? Can you talk about that? Being yeah, such a great moment for you guys. Um, I mean, for the characters, I mean, yeah, this is the first time that you've actually seen Debbie and Lip, and really just Lip at all this season with the Gallagher's. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like that kind of situation where it's like you know getting to go back to their old bond and bonding to more of an extreme level because you've never really seen them bond i guess before yeah but for me with like jeremy and stuff we always have really fun time jeremy's the best so yeah, it was really cool to, to film with jeremy and stuff yeah, yeah. you guys were great and stuff yeah that was nice. really you too you had really great storylines oh thank you it's yeah. a good episode yeah yeah it's like i love my show you have an amazing show <laughs> it's a great show well such a great group of, i mean the cast yeah. is amazing it's just and especially i thought tonight it was just everybody like everybody yes. had great like mm-hmm. different great. scenes going on there's so many different storylines i mean we were taking notes after notes we were just i know so but i don't know what we're going to talk yeah. about there was yeah. so much for everybody there's a lot yeah, yeah. and fiona's mm-hmm. life is not going to be the same mm-hmm. you know? yeah no yeah we're gonna jump into mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, should, we, should we dive into that one now, or should we? No, no we I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. Yeah. Oh, no, it's fine. Come on, Jake, what are you Sorry. doing? <laughs> Let's talk about Ian yeah. at the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I want to get your take because yeah. he's so distanced throughout he's, the whole thing. That was thing. so weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He wasn't he was. hearing anything that you guys were saying. That was honestly, like, I was honestly biting back laughter during that first scene where we were in the white swallow. The <laughs> white, oh my <laughs> god, okay, you said it. All right. The white swallow, guys. <laughs> Here I said it. <laughs> no, 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 but, um, I mean, yeah, Cam did that scene great. He's yes. He so was, funny. And the black eyeliner, his rock mm-hmm. eyeliner was great. He was wearing more makeup than I was. Yes. Literally. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It was awesome. Absolutely. And his hair seemed so vibrant. And, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Very spiky. Yeah. I like when you guys go to, uh, what was it, Jimmy's dad's place. Oh. And he's like, you obviously have a type. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he did. That was great. Just like Ian. Yeah. Perfect. I know. It looked just like it. In the hair and makeup trailer, when we were shooting those scenes that day, I saw that guy, and he was in the hair and makeup trailer, and I literally did a double take, and I was like, Cam? Yeah. Oh. Ah, you're back from South Africa. I was like, ah, I missed you. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. I got sad then, but, you know. <laughs> I loved his rainbow underwear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty Very great. Nice. Very nice. So now, do you think that Ian is on drugs? Is he drinking at this point? Because he just seems yeah, so out of it? Or so was he just... Touch, you think? Because mm-hmm. you even said, your character, you know, why is he acting? Why is he acting like that? I mean, I feel like, you know, mm-hmm. he went away and something must have happened while he was gone to change him quite a bit. Don't you yeah. Think? I mean, like big time. And then, but now like at the club and where he's working, I mean, I kind of got the feeling he might be on something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. For sure. You know? For sure. <clears throat> yeah. Like he was very just yeah. manic. Sketchy. Yeah. 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 And yeah. fast talking. Yeah. And just really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Intense. Intense. Well, then you did see him do a shot of the alcohol while he's, as they left. Yeah. Record himself a little. Right. 
And him to offer him. you alcohol, and it's like that's I know. how he's completely and detached from reality. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he, he's a Gallagher. Come on, yeah, that's, that's true. That's not that weird. <laughs> that's Good point. They were already in a club, you yeah. know. That was that was something else. But. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, let's go on. Let's talk about Sheila and her date. Oh my god! Please, let's talk about Sheila and her <laughs> Sheila. date. I love Joan Cusack. Yeah, we she's amazing. Her. Isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's it like working with her? She's the nicest, I mean, yeah, she's I, the nicest person. She really is. I mean, so what's, cool. what's, I mean, this is true about, I'd say, probably almost, yeah, everybody on the cast, but Literally. especially her, she has such a unique way of, mm. of how she approaches that character that even at the table reads, She'll oh. be like camera ready. Yeah, like you could have filmed it. Yeah, you know, and that, should have shot for, it as we always say on set. <laughs> yeah, exactly, should have shot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she's she's great. Yeah, like I remember season three at the table read towards the end when um mm-hmm. at, the, at the hospital, like she did that that monologue and, and the table read, and people were like tearing. And up. it was literally like memorized. I know. I remember it was, that. It was like full. So it's like good. she can't help mm-hmm. herself but be great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. She really is in every single scene she does. It's mm-hmm. just it's just such a unique take, and it's all just always entertaining she's so, yeah yeah mm-hmm. and she's such honestly such a nice person like we always just have like really really great conversations in between takes and i love i i totally like cherish doing scenes with her and mm-hmm. just being in the same room room as joan cusack mm-hmm. i mean yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. i mean joan cusack yeah. you know like i grew up on toy story and school of rock is still one of my favorites it's just so cool that we get to well and she has that. a she lives in chicago right yeah. she has a house she in chicago really? yeah. she does uh-huh. and she okay. has kids our age me and ethan's age um ethan and i his age my mom is watching this. <laughs> like grammar, grammar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but yeah, she's got kids and she's just got the best house and we're always, all the cast and crew are always crashing her house and having game mm-hmm. parties and eating food and ordering food and paying it from her credit card. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right way. She doesn't know about yeah. that one. No. <laughs> yeah, she might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joan. <Yeah. laughs> So do you only get to interact like during the table reads? Because obviously you're not. Well, I mean that's the every every episode when we have the table read. That's when the whole cast is going right. to be in the oh, same. So you guys are all there. And you just yeah, and you read it. And yeah, and we have uh, usually Mark Mylod is the one who does. Uh, His British accent. It, yeah, he I mean, <laughs> our producer. He. Um, He'll do the uh, stage directions. He'll read oh, everything okay. in between. He has this British accent. It yeah. sounds like Planet Earth, like or it's one of those. Is he really British? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I thought you said we were just putting it on. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> but God, he wants to be an actor so bad. <laughs> Why did she do that? Why did he That's get into great. producing? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Oh, God. And Mark has to read like these vile, like I know. thick paragraphs with like curse words, and he's got this sweet little innocent British accent. He's the <laughs> nicest guy. And it's I great. Know. It's like making Richard <laughs> Attenborough read. Yeah. Like the grossest stuff in the or world. Or a little five year old reading it. It's I'm sure I was oh, thinking when you guys get the script, you must be like, oh my mm-hmm. God, like who's going to say this? Are we actually doing yeah. this? It's, it's just <laughs> like that, actually. Yeah. Right, every, right. every episode. Reading it. Mm-hmm. Cringing. It's pretty intense. <laughs> but a good, yeah. a good cringing. Yeah. A, a good very, cringing. Yeah. yeah. You very know? excited to be able to be the ones that say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want anybody else to be the yeah, ones to do this. Exactly. Has there ever been a time when somebody was like, no, I'm not saying that or I'm not doing that? I don't, not since no. not when I was there. Same, not for me either. Yeah. I, I don't think. I mean, it is a no. character, so it's not like we're really going to be having to, for example, like, you know, Debbie, it's not like I'm really dating a 26 year old. All right. <laughs> 26? Yeah. 26. I it was 20. I it was 20. I thought we said well, yeah, he's 26 in real life, I think. Oh, but for the, the character, okay. I was like, 26? No, oh, my God. Like, we've it's gone very back. illegal either way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very illegal either, either way. It's a little more <laughs> illegal at 26, though. <laughs> that guy's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. That's a little... <laughs> Yeah. While we're talking about that, that's actually been one of our big discussions because Phil and I are mm-hmm. fans of your boyfriend because we th- we're like, oh, he's sweet yeah. and he's, you know, and I'm yeah, not, she's I'm not, not a fan. She's like, it's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, kind of side with you on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank guy you. He's really nice. James, who plays me, he's a really nice guy. I feel like it's just the storylines where it's like thinking into Maddie. I, even though he is such a nice guy and he does have like the best, the better perspective for Debbie I feel like she's just getting herself into something that she shouldn't yeah. she shouldn't mm-hmm. be mm-hmm. swimming in you know mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, she's yeah. 13 we keep w- we keep waiting for there to be some sort of secret bombshell about keep him keep waiting it's, it's not over yet <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah no okay good to know good to know yeah. so there we go Phil Maybe he is a creeper after I'm all. I'm frightened. I really am. <laughs> no, yeah. And to no. be fair, it's like we weren't rooting for the relationship. We were just no. saying that at least out of all the guys you could have picked, okay, he at least true. has. Yeah, yeah. He, he was the best. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It is. I mean, he's a nice guy. He's he's got an apartment. He's, he's, he was worried a couple <laughs> episodes that his cat was dying, and that's something I would be relatable about. I love cats, Jake. 
I Jake, love Mr. Boo. <laughs> yeah. We all we love, love cats. cats. This is oh, great. Oh, man, are we really talking about my cat right <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah, you have your cat, Mr. Boo. I we do. All love my, cat, my cat's slowly getting famous on Vine. <laughs> it's great. It oh is. God, big, so big, awesome. big fan of yeah. Mr. Boo on Vine. I've got, like, because uh, I just got on Vine and Twitter and Instagram all, like, last October. What right? were you so doing before? I, just, I don't even understand. I, now I can't. Oh, actually, nice. I, no, really. I, I know. Yeah. It's, now that I have it implemented, it's like, what was I doing? I was in the dark. Exactly. I wasn't a person yet. But my Vine's got so many more followers because of my cat. It's like ridiculous. By <laughs> a landslide. Mr. Boo's Mr. pretty Boo. legendary. He's his own hashtag. Does he really? Hashtag oh. Mr. Boo. Oh, that's, Mr. I'm Boo. a hashtag He's uh, going to be 11 this year. Oh. Wow. Yep. <laughs> what's, he, what's he look like? Uh, I mean, I have my phone on me now. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's a snowshoe cat. He's part Siamese um, oh. uh, and part American short hairs, but he's huge and he's not fat. He's just a giant, giant cat. Giant cat. Yeah. He's humongous. He's like I made a Twitter pounds. page for my cat. You did? At oh. Crazy Cheddar 7. You guys follow him. <laughs> Seriously, though, what does your cat tweet about? <laughs> he tweets about his life story. Um, he's a, he's very angry. Like, he's a genuinely oh. a mean uh-huh. cat. Like, yeah. he's, he's kind of like... He's a grumpy bad. cat. Yeah. A grumpy cat. Go. Yeah, I also follow a grumpy cat on Twitter. I'm a big fan of all of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's endearing for you. For me, it's just sad and creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think great. it's fine that you're the cat. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But Mike would have a cat, your character. Like, Mike he should have would. a cat. Or, I don't know, I can yeah. see him having like a Labrador retriever. Oh! Mike would, yeah, Mike yeah, would have right. the dog from Up. That's, yeah. that's oh what my Mike God. would have. <laughs> oh. I, can see I that. love Mike. I think he's like the best guy ever. People think yeah. he's like this clingy, weird he's guy. He's super a good guy. I love that guy. Yeah. I love that. I kept, I kept waiting to when I got on the show because after I when I first got on the mm-hmm. show in the third season I hadn't seen any of the episodes um, I knew about it I knew it was great um, so then in the hiatus I caught up which was weird I don't even know if I told you that by the way like oh, I came God. to set and was oh. like a fan yeah, I mean, like, yeah. it's like changed you know Jake <laughs> so I was like oh no <laughs> not him um, but I kept waiting just because of the content of you know the, the, what the show is I was like watch this guy's gonna seem nice and mm-hmm. end up like murdering people or something <laughs> right. he's gonna have some I, weird I dark secret I was waiting secret. too I was like mm-hmm. a box of hair like what's going on <laughs> <laughs> a box of hair <laughs> like, I don't know something weird's going on. Really <laughs> weird. He builds the statue of Fiona out of hair. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but no, he's just a real genuine, genuine guy. Um, mm-hmm. Something that's very different, I think, than Fiona's yes, mm-hmm. it is jarring on the show. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, he's nice. Like when mm-hmm. you and Fiona had that moment about her lying, mm-hmm. I was like, oh wow, that's genuine and real and nice. You know, it's just like because the family. I feel like there's so many things that happen where people aren't nice on the show and yeah. they just like, oh, yeah. backstab mm-hmm. and you know. Yeah, I feel like viewers are gonna have like trust issues, like watching. Yeah. Like I don't know if I can even like watch you without like worrying you're gonna kill all the galaxies. Yeah, you know? I know exactly. exactly. Like, 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 who is this guy with his what smile and his through. job? Yeah. You know, being honest. What are your intentions? Yeah. Drinking <laughs> white Zinfandel. <laughs> white <is> wine. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's great. Mm. Um, so back to Sheila and running yeah. Jay and her lovely relationship. And, and Frank. And Frank and his leg. Yeah. Yeah, Frank let's talk about... I liked his mm-hmm. leg hat. Oh, <laughs> like, that was great. That was cute. <laughs> that was an adorable little leg hat. Aww. Showtime should sell those. They should. With a little shameless and like the yeah, little wrapper exactly. with a little tag. That'd be cool. That'd be yeah. I'd buy that. I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad for Carl, though, because Carl's really feeling left out now because mm-hmm. of Aww. Sammy. Yeah. I know. Carl. Well, that, that's what I want to ask. I want to ask you guys in terms of, right, he's connecting mm-hmm. with his daughter. Um, and she says, you know, she kind of asked him, how long is this going to last? Am I just really just helping you? Or are we right. really forming a bond? And he seemed genuine in the moment, but it's it's frank and it worries me. And yeah. So I want to know, yeah. was that real from you guys or not? And especially since he is forgetting about Carl in favor mm-hmm. of this. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, you know, it, it's a, that's a good call. It is frank, you know. Yeah. yeah. And There's he's made motive. you think that he had sentiment before and completely mm-hmm. used it, you know, to his advantage. It's like it's hard to trust Frank. It's very hard mm-hmm. to trust Even Frank. to watch him. Even when he's dying. Yeah. <laughs> you don't he's trust him. You know, <laughs> or like him. Yeah, don't but, even but may, I mean, I feel like mm-hmm. I get that there might be uh, some genuine, you know, sentiment there, especially because he is sick. You know? Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, there, we still have... He's still Frank. Seven yeah. episodes left. Uh, so keep on watching, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I did feel sorry for Carl because when he said this is I when he know. made the line like this is my last chance of kind of like being a father. And like, like completely Aww. aloof to what that sounds like. Yeah. You know? it's yeah. Like, so what are we? You yeah, know? and this right. poor Carl's been you know his only friend here doing all this stuff doing for him, breaking his leg. For him. You know, yeah, yeah really stealing <laughs> drugs. Yeah, yeah, I really felt true. sorry. For him. Oh, they have a really like a special bond this season. I feel like it's mm-hmm. kind of like the 
alternate version of like Debbie in a way. Mm-hmm. Like last yeah, season. Yeah, because you were yeah. the one taking care of him last All, time. Not even just last season. It was season one through three. Uh-huh. And you saw Debbie and Frank bonding, and now you see Carl and Frank bonding, and, and you kind of see Debbie on her own. Well, Carl mm-hmm. was used to be on his own and worried more about his life than that his family is. Well, it's like last mm-hmm. season when it ended mm-hmm. with him shaving Frank's head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. kind yeah. of a foreshadow for this year. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. He really that did that too, yeah. huh? He did that on camera. That was he did. Yeah, he really he shaved really Bill Macy's head. Not many head. people can say that. Just yeah. Ethan Kagoski. I think did. he's probably <laughs> the only one. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> fact check that with Bill Macy. But <laughs> check that off my bucket list. <laughs> I wonder how many takes he just started doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it left it. I mean, and it, like when he's wandering out in the cold, like even like, Love there's that like didn't he have it for a couple of days where it wasn't like cleaned up? Yeah. It was yeah. like you know a hack job, you know, on purpose. Great scene with Bill walking on the bridge. Uh huh. And the Cold. Pants on. In his buns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Frank. I just can't take anything that he says seriously. And I was connecting with him in that moment. I'm like, this seems real, but it's Frank. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, I'm waiting for him. That was, something. That was one of my favorite mm-hmm. lines of this episode. You're like, hey, I'd be crying too if I wasn't so high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A classic I, Frank. And for his daughter, Sammy, I still feel like she's, like, attracted to him. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys get that vibe. But even though, like, she mm-hmm. found out he's her father, I still feel like she's, like, sexually attracted to him. I don't know if you, you sense that or not. That's very creepy. I, never that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, like, I'm only 14, so obviously, like, I haven't, like, been in love or anything. But I feel like <laughs> this is my my love, my life on love. Um, <laughs> no, but I feel like, like you know, from what I've heard and stuff, like, if you, like, fall in love, I feel like you don't really fall out of it. Mm. So mm. I feel like mm. she just... Well, that's dangerous. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> I feel you like just, she's not going to... You don't have to fall out and just shift it. Or like, yeah, yeah. Just change yeah, the trajectory yeah, yeah. a little bit. I feel like, like, yeah, but it's kind of like that. You know, it's like, I feel like she doesn't fall. Out of yeah, love with mm-hmm. Frank, mm-hmm. and I feel like she was in love with him because she really had a special connection and bond. Mm-hmm. And now he's her father, and now yeah, and she and, fell pretty yeah. fast too. Yeah, well, and yeah. I think you know mm-hmm. she spent her whole life wondering who her dad was, yeah, and like totally. so the and has raised is here this now. child, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I'm just still it's, scarred from the previous episodes of their dry humping and yeah, the, oh, <laughs> dry I interaction. I was like, I, I so when I see them together now, what, it's still kind of. What was the episode that ended with uh, when she first comes on to him and he goes into the bathroom and it ends on him looking in the mirror and like splashing water on his face in the bathroom? Oh, that know. was I think that was three. Was, that, was that the end of three? It wasn't the end of an episode, right? It was. It was. I remember yeah, the yeah, table. Yeah. 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 We're talking about stuff that irks you in the table read. I remember when I got to that, not knowing what was going to happen next se- episode. I was like, Are they going to make him sleep with his daughter? That's so. <laughs> that's I was so like, that's so I was like, that's uh, really shameless. Okay. Yeah. That's what's so funny but about this show yeah. is because you'd really n- normal shows you'd be like, oh no way. I know they exactly. Go there, yeah. this no, nothing's one, like, safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they might actually but do that. Shameless, they would actually go there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But no, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's get into Fiona, the big, big, big storyline. Fiona and mm. the breakup. Ooh, I didn't no. think he was gonna tell him. I didn't think so. When I saw the previews for what the episode coming up, I didn't oh, yeah. think that. I thought they were just talking about something, you know, just the rehab and the money. Here's what I want to know. Uh, you guys obviously had to uh, kind of, you know, uh, we saw the shots of you guys arguing. We didn't hear anything, obviously. Yeah. But what were you guys talking about? Star Trek Question. versus Star Wars? No, you aren't. No. Really? no. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Trekkie. I like Star Wars. We got into it. And then I, pun- and then I punched him. <laughs> no, they actually uh, scripted dialogue for us, oh, which was they? super Good. super helpful yeah they came i think oh. they gave it to us and, and gave it to us well in advance so we could have it memorized so we weren't just out there you know screaming uh, about star wars versus star trek <laughs> yeah exactly uh so we had something to go off of and it was mm. kind of interesting i don't really remember what the dialogue was now it's been a while but um it it like really was it wasn't just like they threw out some stuff to just say lying. it was like yeah. a really good fight scene we were mm. out there acting <laughs> from afar you know <laughs> Um, but yeah, they, they actually gave us stuff to say and it was, it was good. I mean, we all knew that was going to happen eventually. Eventually, yeah. yes. You know? Well, and given how <laughs> brazen Robbie is, was it, was he pretty bold and how he, do you remember at all how he? Yeah, no, he, it was yeah. very, very like, so. oh yeah, well, yeah. um, boom, da, da, boom, boom. <laughs> right, you know? yeah. Um, yeah. some obscenities in there. Yeah. So that was a, good he, scene. He, he, that was yeah. a great scene. It was, uh, yeah. it was just, it's basically, they were, you know, they were fighting about like the stuff that they were always fighting about. The fact that he leeches off the family and, and, you know. Mike doesn't think he, mm-hmm. you know, works hard enough to do things. Meanwhile, Mike's like, you know, holding mm-hmm. down the family job, 
and seeing his brother get all these handouts. And so he keeps calling him out on that. And then finally it just explodes with him. Be like, oh yeah, you think you got it all figured out? I'm sleeping with your girlfriend. Oh. And that's, mm-hmm. that's how it happened. <sighs> I just, <clears throat> we have loved, we love you with Fiona. So oh my God, I love you with Fiona. Yeah. Like obsessed with oh, you. And we're yeah. always nice. on her team. But we were so, we were so mad uh-huh. when she slept with Robbie. We were like, we were, there was three oh, of you have to ruin. Yeah. I think she, I think what was cool about the way that happened is I think Fiona was surprised that she did that. Yeah. 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 You know what I yeah. mean? Like she was, and like that's, what was the name of that episode? It was like father, like daughter. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was re- realizing that you know she had yeah. everything fine and she franked it up. She, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> she did. That's a yeah, I never. That's a really up. good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. yeah. So um, mm. you know, it's and then and then compulsively to to keep doing that and yeah, mm. and and the breakup that scene was so. <laughs> It was so well written where, you know, it's it's not your typical, like, he fires her out of spite. Yeah, you know? I know. He's hard. It makes it so much worse. Because he's like a nice but he, guy. But he's like, no, I'm not going to fire you. I'm transferring you, but you still have a job. I'm not a monster. Yeah. You're like, I oh, know, God. I love to be yeah. But then the, that, <laughs> the fact that you apologize for being basically a perfect guy. I mean, that yeah. was sad. It's like, yeah. how can I love though. you who's responsible, Aww. loves Ari? Yeah. I mean, sings Ari a speed wagon. And oh, the actually clearing I mean, up. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not more interesting. I was like, my heart is breaking right now. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It was very well written. It was fun to do. Aria Speedwagon. Ugh. I had that song stuck in my head for three days. (laughs) (laughs) So much. Yeah. Um, We shot that scene until like three in the morning in the back of that, in the back of the car driving around um, Burbank. Oh, in Burbank. Okay. Yeah. It was really late because it was a night shoot. Yeah. But the next day we had to shoot all the scenes in uh, Mike's apartment where I come in and throw up. Mm, and all that uh-huh. stuff and then the other one where she you know she sleeps with him in the, or starts to hook up with him in the kitchen yeah we shot all those scenes so we had to get up and come back to work so early and <laughs> they gave me what is it what was it Ju- no gumbo for the vomit oh <laughs> yeah I and always it, wonder what they did what for that. Yeah. It was just literally like just, out of a can. Like it was like rice and the but broth. Do you, and that's great. you just hold it in your mouth and spit it out. Mm, yummy. But I mean, we'd, we'd take so long for setups that they had to like go back. I kept eating it because it was really good, which, which sounds gross, but there's nothing gumbo, gross about Nothing it. better than that. Yeah. Disgusting. They'd be like, oh, hold on. Jake needs more vomit. Oh. He ate all of it. Come on, Jake. <laughs> it's really good, guys. Gotta love canned gumbo. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's so it's really awful. good. <laughs> so you can't unknow that now. Yeah. No. Now every time yes. I see vomit on TV, I'm gonna think of you. <laughs> Thank you. Canned gumbo. Canned gumbo. Canned gumbo. I'll take it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah. I'm I'm still torn up over this breakup, but um. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys maybe can work it out in the next episode. We'll see what happens. She's in some trouble, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) She's got some problems. I'm hoping you're going to come and help her. Well, we'll see. Save the day. Save the day, yeah. Yeah. You'd be a really forgiving person if you you did come back around and forgive her. And just be like, don't worry about it. We just it's can't okay. come to family functions uh, ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about we'll that. We'll just have to have probably. Christmas at the Gallagher house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see. I mean, that's a, I mean, to be sleeping with your brother. It's not just like a friend. It's a family. Yeah. Or a random person. In, in, yeah. Or a random person. Something. Totally. Yeah. I almost feel like, you know, you, you mm. if you forgive that too quickly or... or, or, or at for, all. Oh, at all, yeah. 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 I mean, forgiving is one thing, but forgive it and then say, let's keep trying. Then you're like something to a fault. You know? Yeah, right. It's, it's just, a, yeah, you're, there's like a level of a lack yeah. of self-respect at that point. Like, I just can't believe that he went to her house with drugs and wanted to hang out again yeah. afterwards. That was really, yeah. like, it, I know the show's shameless, but I was like, really? Mm-hmm. Really? It like, yeah. kind of makes you mad to watch it. Like, just get yeah. away. Stop. I don't get why you want to keep ruining the Gallagher's lives. They're already not good, you Exactly. Know? I did think for one second she was going to party with him. Like, for one, I did t- like, a split second, I was like, uh, is she going to? Okay, no, she got a She bad. partied in the worst way. Yeah. yeah. Liam. I kept thinking oh, she was good. Man. Yeah. Too soon. <laughs> Touchy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. really, when I saw you coming home and I knew Carl oh. was there, I was like, oh, she's going to go get it and, and cover it up or something. And they just kept partying. And I was like, is this really happening yeah. right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you were just going to be mad that that's what she was doing yeah. and be even more like yeah, disappointed in her. Yeah. I think she yeah. was. I mean, like, this sounds really weird, but like when she was walking in, like Fiona, like, spanked Debbie. And yeah. Debbie was like, ah. <laughs> and she like, was like, get away from me. And then she walked away. And then that's when she saw Liam on the floor. Yeah. I was like, 
Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, especially after Fiona, you know, went to court to get the custody of the kid. So you know what much. I mean? And everything. Yeah. Well, before, before we it's fully great. move into that, I, yeah. I do want to ask, uh, in terms of your character, Debbie, right, does she approve of Mike? Because every time, you know, uh, like she's hanging out with Mike mm-hmm. again, and that's why Sheila's babysitting us. Like, what? what's her take on... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think of Mike now? I feel like Debbie honestly doesn't... It's not that she doesn't care, but I feel like it's just not crossing her mind because she's in the selfish teenage years. So she's worried more about like what she's going to look like and what she's going to wear to school tomorrow and what's going on with Maddie, her boyfriend, and her friends and stuff. So I feel like her family issues are not crossing her as much as they probably should be. But I also feel like, you know, Fiona's got a solid job. So now Debbie can, they don't have to work as hard as they used to. Mm-hmm. So I feel like Debbie kind of applauds Mike in a way. Not really. You know, whenever Mike walks in. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike, that's good. I got that's good. It. That's I good. I'll talk to the writers about that. Yeah. I could sure. take yeah. that answer. <laughs> and what do you think about this crazy family? You handled it pretty well. Well, I, you know, I feel like Fiona really kind of uh, protects Mike from it. Or especially, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like they, he doesn't spend too much time at the Gallagher house at all. I think, in, in fact, the, the first, the only time we've seen it so far in the season is when he comes to pick her up to go tailgating in the first episode Mm -hmm. and he sees Carl so I think you know he doesn't really have the reality of what it's like that's something that I thought would be really funny is just to see Mike react to spending an hour with Frank yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That we would get some interaction with I don't even think he he can comprehend that someone like Frank is possible yeah you know right from from like the world he comes from Huh? He's been so guarded in his he has. entire life. Yeah. Right. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it, it just would be, I think, a complete, like almost like a culture shock. You yeah. Know? Well, and I think he's such a fixer too. Like you're telling her about Al-Anon and all these different, you know, yeah. ways your family dealt with problems and yeah. stuff. So right. It'd be funny way. to see like yeah. you exactly. sitting there trying to rack your brain about, wow, yeah. how would you deal with this one? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And and even Jimmy the car thief had problems with Frank. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? yeah. <laughs> Being like, he's not good for your family. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody Very like Mike would yeah. probably be like appalled yeah, I mean, he, does have, he does have Robbie in his life which is kind of similar to Frank in a way but I feel it's like true. But yeah, yeah. he's the downgraded version of Frank he's I feel like he will be a mm-hmm. Frank in a couple of years yeah, yeah. that's true yeah, that's very true but I mean yeah and especially with, with uh, Robbie I think he thinks you know just kind of going your standard route of he needs mm. to get into rehab you know mm-hmm. put you know um, get him there and get him off drugs it still keeps him kind of away yeah. you know mm-hmm. um, so yeah I don't know what a relationship would be screwed up more like your little not your but you know mike and robbie's mm. relationship mm. or, or mike and fiona's because it's like brother versus girlfriend i wonder what yeah. would be more and she has and to work with him so yeah. yeah yeah but then family i feel like actually it probably would be his brotherly relationship although they were never that close were they no um, i mean we talk about it i mean growing up yeah. probably i mean that's kind of a backstory that i don't th- it didn't get into too much um mm. but it sounds like they definitely have they definitely care about each other yeah i mean i've i've I mean, the way you know, what happens in the episodes in the season, you don't really see much of Robbie's feelings towards Mike as far as like, mm. like you know, compassion or mm-hmm. a brother. Yeah. Um, he's just kind of bitter that Mike's always on his ass about everything. I feel mm-hmm. like he slept with his girlfriends before. Like, I feel like this yeah. is like a repeat. This is like his thing. Yeah, this yeah. is like his thing. Like, oh, that's so it. sad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? Nice. <laughs> That I think I got terrible. a sense. You'd said once that one time when you were younger that he had protected you and beat up some guys that were that were that's right. beating you up or something. Yeah. So you're like, yeah. it's my turn to protect you for it a to while. Him. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like that's that's also sad because it's. I mean, sure, it must have been like a traumatic thing in in Mike's life, but I feel like it's not that traumatic in middle school. So I feel <laughs> yeah. like that's also kind of sad. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a middle yeah. school thing. I have I, I owe was, my life I, to him. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was like, really, Mike? I was getting, yeah. it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the worst day of my life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He saved me Make from bullies. I'm gonna save him from cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And let him sleep with my girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. It's I owe my life okay. to him. It's all for the cause. You want to make an omelet. <laughs> exactly. That's great. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. You, Robbie's character, I think, I, it's been so good because I, it, it makes people so mad at Fiona because it's like you just can't understand why she's. You know, I mean, you understand that she's an addict yeah. and stuff, but it's now. But it's it's like he's just such a jerk, you know. And he was getting such joy when you were in his apartment and she was hiding under the it was underneath, like, and he's like, it was like a, cocky. A, a stimulating yeah. somehow. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, I think the thing, or as far as what I can speculate about Fiona is, I think she's just used to chaos. Yeah, that's what Absolutely. she's used to. She's always had it in her life. She's never had stability. Yeah. 
So when she's handling a relationship like Mike, where everything's going, you know, there's nothing to complain about. She's got these health benefits. She's got a good job. She's got a boyfriend that's going to be honest with her and all all these different things. She's got to do something to make it chaotic because that's where she, you know, prevails. Mm -hmm. That's how she's she's like used to. Um, wrangling an entire family and making it work, you know. So if something's working without right. her doing anything, I think it, it must be uncomfortable. Yeah, and it does, there's nothing stimulating going on. It's mm-hmm. like it's vanilla, and she's so used to Rocky Road. It's just like this tastes right. boring to me. Yeah. I feel like Shanola. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Shanola said Mike's a tater tot. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I tweeted that, that so today. Bad. I said I am it. not a tater tot. <laughs> I went to Robbie like a, a mozzarella. That was funny. Sorry about my face. I love it. That was great. I just really. Much right now. Okay. <laughs> I feel like in a way though Fiona's almost like sabotaging herself in her yeah. relationship with Mike because I feel like she feels like she doesn't deserve that and I think that she said that in the episode yeah like, and uh-huh. I believed her yeah. I believed her mm-hmm. when she, she said that she doesn't deserve mm-hmm. that and it's sad because she does yeah, yeah. because she works so hard she and really like, does she really does yeah mm-hmm. more than mm-hmm. I feel like anybody else like, but in the show now she's in trouble yeah, they never get, get a break and it kind of makes me angry I know do you guys do you guys watch Game of Thrones at all I haven't seen I that show. Seen that. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I, I need to watch that. That's the third time. No, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. Go home to your cat Shadow. and watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only show we watch. Yeah. Good. It's <laughs> a good one. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you a question since you brought up the episode when you were tailgating. Yes. Are you able to, able to tell us where you got your nickname from that? We were. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. You know, oh God. That's a good question. I was going to ask John Wells that and I forgot. <laughs> oh, dang it. I really was. What was that again? What was the nickname? Stick something. The, was the, the, oh, the stick. stick. The, the stick. stick. And she starts to explain it. And then because I had to kind of ask because I was right. like, why do I not want Fiona to know this so bad? Yeah. It probably wasn't anything bad. It was probably like, oh man, you know, he dropped like a stick on a probably date or something. something. Yeah. That very something G-rated, that really like, just, like affected yeah. his life. Like he was getting bullied, <laughs> getting beaten with sticks. Yeah. Robbie came in, oh man, coked out of his mind, <laughs> yeah. and fought the bullies off with the stick. Yeah, yeah. 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 very traumatic in um, his life. That's a good question, though. Yeah, I don't know. I have not. I, I never got the whole story oh, there. Dang it, we had yeah. not quite such a G-rated. Yeah, discussion about it here, what we thought, but yeah, we'll yeah, save yeah, that we'll for another, another time. time. <laughs> another time. Another I think, time. Yeah. Okay. Minor <laughs> I, yes. I, I kind of yeah. think I know what you're talking because that's that's where my that's what I thought. I think if we're talking about the same thing, yeah. we'll talk about it later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right, I had to ask someone. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit more about the tragic, tragic, tragic ending. Like Liam. Just, yeah. Oh, Liam. Mm. Oh my God, that scene. Genuinely, like the first one where Debbie goes and discovers him laying on the floor with cocaine, I was like, not even, I'm not an emotional person. I don't know why I emphasized I. That was really full of myself and awkward. Yeah. But like, <laughs> I. <laughs> um, it is I, sorry. Um, no, no, no. But like, I was, I'm not even like an emotional person. Like, I'm really not. Like, it doesn't, it takes a lot for me to like cry, I guess. But this was like, I was. No, you were crying at the end of this episode. I was. Yes, you were. <laughs> I, saw it. Those I was tears. like, <laughs> yeah. I know, no, no. And everybody, even like the crew were like, you know, big men, they were, they were, I'm not gonna lie, they were getting a little emotional. Uh, we had this big, like, yeah. big, everybody on, you know, before we were doing the scene, everybody was having this big discussion, the cast and the crew, about how we would play this. It would be more of a shock, it would be more of like, how is this happening, or anger, you know, the, just the emotion right. that we felt, you know, us and the and the director, and even some of the crew were inputting, you know, mm-hmm. on their, like, life stories, I guess, and what they went through That's right. involving that, I guess. And that was David Nutter directed that episode. Nutter, I love Nutter's him. Nutter's great. He's so good. He directs uh, a lot of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, all right. No, but I feel like if, if Nutter didn't direct it, it wouldn't be nearly as... I feel like this I, is one of our yeah. strongest episodes. Is this a really yeah. good director? You guys have had him before too, right? We have. He did episode um, seven of season one, and then he did, I think, he came back two, and then he didn't do three, and now he's back. Yeah, he's and great. This is a he's really good. intense, packed episode. I mean, it mm-hmm. was... I agree. Yeah. I was like trying not to cry at the end because I was like, I don't mess up my makeup. But I had like goosebumps. Oh. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to reapply. Oh my God, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> well, I thought it was emotional enough just with your guys' breakup scene. Uh-huh. And oh my God. Oh, just crushing. Uh, and but then, then, it yeah, just, then it just, then you just got slammed. Well, and it oh. starts too, it just, it so rapidly collapses. Like, yeah. like, because you go mm. and they're all, you know, yeah. doing lines and, and the party and Chanel's going after the Doritos and everything's on such a oh, high. That, that, that I got a feeling that was going after the Doritos. They are addictive. Yeah. So she's, I got a feeling that something was going to happen though. You got that sense that like, yeah. 
they're having too much fun. Mm-hmm. Like something's it's gonna. It's not happen. a Gallagher yeah. moment, and right. it wasn't, and it right. snapped. It was kind of like a high high to literally a high high yeah. to a low low. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Literally, because it was depression. So this is very literally, figuratively speaking. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, that's what we were saying too. And you had yeah. to split that scene. You had to shoot some of it in Chicago and it's some kind of, of drawing it out like the emotion. Like I feel like after like you do an emotional scene, like this is just my personal like feelings and opinions about it. Uh-huh. Like if you cry about something in a crying scene, then that's you close that book. You don't have to cry about that ever again for more personal reasons. Right. I guess if that I don't even know, but I feel like for this one, like you had to like pause it and you had to oh, right. connect again. Because yeah. 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 we did the interior difficult. shots inside, and then the ambulance shots were outside in Chicago, literally like like two weeks, three weeks later. Yeah, luckily wow. it was the last episode we were shooting before we go to Chicago. Yeah, so it wasn't like the first episode. Right, that'd With be quite the opening. Break. Oh, because they don't shoot in order, mm-hmm. obviously. It's just like no, no. You go to Chicago tomorrow. Actually, I go tomorrow. Oh, oh do you really? I'm so excited. I'm yeah. Jealous. Is it so cold right now? Yeah, don't be jealous. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's negative thirteen degrees. <laughs> oh my god, really? Perfect. I can't wait. I live in New uh, Jersey. Negative thirteen. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought it was in cold. My morning. I, thought, I thought it was cold in November when we went. I mean, when we oh. did that tailgate scene, I had yeah. so many warming things that. was under in Chicago. That. Mm. Yeah, that okay, was at Soldier right. Field. And that scene, we had like that one outdoor scene together where it was like you and Fiona were like screaming at each other and then I awkwardly like run away. What and was I, it? Like, do you remember this one? It was like oh, the last- Oh, in front of the Gallagher yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in front of the Gallagher house. You guys were in the car and then oh, I was like, Maddie. Oh, he pulls up Maddie in the pizza delivery. Yeah, Maddie, and you go yeah. inside and she's like, Debs? Yeah, I, I remember that. Uh-huh. It's I remember that. 60 here and I freak yeah. out. I'm like, oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah. How hard is it going back and forth? Between LA and Chicago? Yeah. I, it's not a hard at all. I actually love it. I prefer Chicago over like anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's a than, great city. Yeah. I had such a good time there. Oh my gosh, there. isn't it? Uh, we have the best hotel, and I, it's kind of nice because we stay at like this. I'm literally been like, there. I'm gonna go there. Mm-hmm. You need to go. You great. should come watch filming if you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, no, no. But we stay in like this top of the line hotel, and then we go to the Gallagher neighborhood, which is a real neighborhood, may I add. And um, mm. it's just kind of oh. like it's kind of humbling, you know, to like yeah. see that. To that and it's just isn't it in a it's, a, it's in a pretty dangerous part it of looks Chicago right? like it's pretty like intense. we have like some there yeah. was some serious yes. security to block off everything oh I bet you there was the LA a Chicago PD I remember uh-huh. once we were do I wasn't in the scene personally um but there was a scene going by where it's like there was a car driving by and then they had actually filmed like a drive-by shooting like a legit drive-by shooting what it was great and they Wait. got it on camera it wasn't oh. great <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh somebody <laughs> just take that like sound some. bite <laughs> Oh yes. Just that sound. I'm not gonna repeat it. It was a drive by shooting. It was great. (laughs) (laughs) Something's wrong. But they're like, was Jake on drugs? (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. That that's funny. I'm not gonna say that's great anymore, but no, it wasn't. It was not great. It was not, I swear guys. Um no, yeah, but it was actually really it's obviously extremely sad. And I remember mm-hmm. once on base camp, I was looking out of my trailer window and I saw a gang car fire. Like there was a car on wow. fire and I got a photo of it. This was not this November, but the November before that. It's right before it wrapped and I saw it and I was with my dad That's actually. Hi, mm-hmm. yeah, was, Hi, dad. Yeah. Hi, daddy. How does dad <laughs> feel about these things? <laughs> Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> well, now that you kind of bring that up, you being on the show for so long, I mean, you really have grown up on the show and in real life, too. Can you talk mm. a little bit about that? I mean, yeah, I feel like it's just like with Debbie and with myself, um, it's kind of like a coming of the age, coming of age kind of storyline. You know, it's like interesting to see Debbie and I feel like myself as well to grow up on stage, like physically, emotionally, figuratively, all of that. You know, like I really did. Like I had to have my first ever kiss on the show. I, I, yeah. That was awkward. (laughs) That wasn't sweet. That that was awkward. I had my first love making scene on this show. Oh. Okay. (laughs) You win, that you win. That was awkward. <laughs> that was. Oh my god! I always wonder what you guys are thinking when you're. When you're like, but you were so on. nice. Right. You were so worried about her. I know. Mm. <laughs> that was sweet. I you're loved like, it. Do you want me to? Do you want me to? Do you want me to touch you? I know. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit. I know. That, <laughs> that was great because that was like the first scene I had to read at the table read after being gone from you guys for a year. Yeah, welcoming like, back. Welcome uh, back, and Jay. Then like, <laughs> and then you're like. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, yep. I know. <laughs> I was like, You're welcome. It was so good. funny. No, but I mean, to answer your question, yeah, I feel like it's, it's kind of cool. Like, I'm not cool, actually. That's not the word at all. But I feel like in a couple of years, 10 years, I'm going to be able to look back and I'm going to be able to see, like, my first kiss on camera and a lot of these kind of storylines. And, you know, you're just it's just kind of nice to be able to look back and be able to literally see myself grow up on yeah. camera. But it's also awkward because I feel like a lot of other, I feel like growing up is a tender, like, is a tender thing. Like, it really is, as, like, stupid as that sounds. Like, it's definitely, like, a emotional kind of thing. And I feel like it's a little awkward that so many people get to 
watch me do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you mm-hmm. can yeah. always go back That's and look f- at it. How cool is that? Yeah, true. I wish I could see mine when I was Your fr- Yeah, 14. I'm actually so glad that you know, I... You know? I know, and I was so awkward. I, my dad had to watch it live. Oh, I, We were in Chicago. Gosh. I was little 12-year-old awkward Emma. I had, like, this hair and, like, <laughs> so this... Cute. Ah, that was not a good day. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I go back to the hotel after filming that. We were we shot the kissing scene in Chicago, <laughs> and my, all the cast are in the lobby. They're like, how was it, Emma? And I was like, I'm not talking about this. I'm exactly. going to my room and I'm eating food. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's an awkward day. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. Um, Phil, anything left before we dive into the full-on interview with you two? Anything else to wrap up this episode? Uh, no, but let's uh, let's pay some bills here. All right. <laughs> yes. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, uh, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code Shameless. If you can't remember that, think of the show you're listening to. Shameless. What's your favorite show? (laughs) Shameless. Um, Of course, everyone needs a website in today's day and age. So, uh, you know, if you don't have a website or you're looking for a way to create a website that is uh, much more better than the current one you have, Squarespace is definitely your solution. Um, A lot of talk (laughs) these days, um, you know, especially everything going so mobile, you want to design your website in such a way that... It reacts well to any device, whether iPad, iPhone, uh, Android, anything of that nature. And of course, Squarespace is so mobile device friendly. Um, They have 24 hour support, seven days a week. So if you do have any questions and you're not so tech savvy, they're there to help you. Um, Start your free trial without any credit card information necessary. so that's always beneficial. You know how you know how sometimes they yeah. get you right off the bat, and then all of a sudden you got those uh, credit card bills. You, you don't even know what they were for. Mm-hmm. And you got a call, and yep, exactly. Um, and uh, especially if you have anything to sell, their e-commerce uh, is amazing for that. It's a lot of people are using it for that. In fact, a lot of our after buzzers, I know one in particular, Virginia Reyna, um, she has a website where she you know sells fashion you know and clothing stuff of that nature and uh, she loves this website so guys definitely give it a try if you haven't done so already squarespace.com uh, promo code shameless good job Phil. all right yay yeah. Phil all right. mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> everyone needs a good website yeah all right well, let's I have one we, we tweeted out there that if anybody had questions for you guys tonight oh wow so let's see I had one for Jake from Bex at Bex Violet eighty eight. I wonder if I answered this on my live maybe, tweeting. Maybe, maybe you already did. <laughs> my first live tweeting. <laughs> Bex is getting a is getting a mouthful of Jake today. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, Shameless. Shameless. I'm so sorry, my ears, my ears. <laughs> Emma, I'm really uncomfortable now. Yeah. I want to go. Wow. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, right, she's in character. On. Leave her alone. She's in character. Nobody look at me. I met a lot of. Okay, I'm scared sometimes. Oh man. You like just say what? Bex is dead. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, Bex. This is awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. And for the question Yes. On that note, do you find your roles on Shameless and Greek to differ? Uh, like Evan grew up and turned into Mike. I answered that. Oh, you did. Oh, you I did. answered that. I'm not kidding. I totally answered. <laughs> For the that. viewers oh, right. that what did not, I did. Yeah. I'll say, yeah. I was, well, I was just joking. I was like, yeah. Evan grew up and changed. The character I played on uh, Greek was called Evan Chambers, and he, the show, or at least the last season of the show, he was in law school because it follows his characters through college. So mm-hmm. I think I said something like, yeah, Evan grew up and changed his name and put his law degree to good work at a cup factory. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so nice. that was my tweet. That's mm-hmm. embarrassing. <laughs> That's totally fine. Here's, here's what I kind of wanted to know, um, and especially from you, um, Emma, mm-hmm. was we, in the first couple seasons, right, you guys are so tight-knit and a lot of the scenes do involve you guys. And now in this season in particular, we've kind of splintered you guys off. Yeah. Lip being college, Ian yeah. apparently mm-hmm. working at White Swallow. <laughs> um, nice. White and, Swallow. And, <laughs> you know, and Jim, Jimmy's no longer there. And so it's a different dynamic. I mean, how how has that been on set for you guys to kind of mm-hmm. grasp or work with? I mean, genuinely, like, it was different. Like, coming back, like, after Jeremy, we started to have scenes with Jeremy again, who plays Lip. Um, like, it was actually very weird. Like, it was kind of like a snap, like, not a slap in the face, because I love working with Jeremy. <laughs> but, I mean, like, it was different. Like, it felt like a different show where like, I wasn't doing scenes with everybody, and I was kind of off on my own. Like, I genuinely felt like I was playing a different character. But then when, like, Jeremy came back, and, you know, now that Ian is, uh, Ian's back in the show, and Fiona and everybody, it was just kind of 
like it was like a flashback almost like it was really nice to be able mm -hmm. to do those Gallagher breakfast scenes you know those are always like, I the love the Gallagher yeah. breakfast scenes those, those are, are so favorite. fun we always do them like 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 five o'clock in the afternoon and you know yeah. and we're eating <laughs> cereal and pancakes but oh. whatever it's great we they seem fun. so real I they know. are we so always improv in them and we're really eating the you know that yummy melted like whatever yeah, it doesn't always look <laughs> <out>. <laughs> mushy whatever it frosted is, flakes <laughs> you guys have so many yeah. props in those scenes yeah. it takes us it's crazy. literally, literally <laughs> like 10 minutes to reset up so, those scenes yeah. oh, I'm right. sure i'm mm -hmm. sure that is great yeah um violet had a question we have another girl that usually hosts she's at, at fashion week right now yeah. and she wanted to ask if um your you she saw a picture of you doing homework on set and if you get oh in the from, alibi yeah in the oh alibi. Yeah. yeah so she wondered if any of your cast members ever help you with your homework oh god no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> and never like let me go oh yeah no. i mean i've got really good set teachers so they help me obviously <laughs> no no problem. oh my god i wish <laughs> they're all like yeah Emma, you can you're the kid you're the kid do your math bye <laughs> i know but ethan who plays carl and we do set school together and our desks we're in the same school room right you know so we actually we're always like <laughs> passing notes, not really. But like we're always talking <laughs> to each passing other. Passing text, nobody yeah. has no yeah. anymore. We text each other. We always we get our phones taken it. away, yeah. and it, yeah. oh, it's so annoying. But whatever. You guys are the only person people in your class, right? It's yeah. just you too, right? <laughs> so depressing. <laughs> or is there like kids from other shows like that come to this one place? That'd be so fun. Yeah. Even so when we have guest stars, yeah. yeah. Even when we have guest stars or like recurring characters coming on who are kids, you know, have to do school. They don't. They're not like they don't, they don't do school with us. Really? And we wish that they did because Ethan and I both go to real school. Like he lives in Chicago. Yeah, I, really yeah. I live in New Jersey. School. Right. And uh, you know, we love it. It's so weird. We always say how much we hate doing set school because like we don't get the experience and we're like we're missing out on that. But you know what? Yeah. We love filming. I love filming, so it's like whatever. Yeah. It's worth the sacrifice to not go to real school. Plus who doesn't <laughs> wants to go to school, you know? And, and plus you, yeah. you get to go to school in a bar. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Alabama. How cool is that? <laughs> it's great. Exactly. <laughs> I was recording this like Vine. I've gotten into Vine. You know, Mr. Boo influenced me. Oh, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> no, I was doing a Vine, doing a school in um in the alibi room, and then it was awkward. And somebody came in and thought I was taking selfies. Just yeah. a little fun fact. Oh. I'm not taking selfies, guys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> bar <girl>. selfies. <laughs> Chuck up some deuces. Yeah, ma making Vines makes you look really crazy. If yeah. Nobody, know what Everybody it is. thinks you're taking selfies. I actually did a mm -hmm. Vine about that. Did you? <laughs> yeah. It's Very pretty, good. I got a whole like whopping like four revines. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Speaking of Let's school, I, I read that you're from Texas. I am. And mm -hmm. down south Texas, boy, I'm from Texas too. I'm from really? San Antonio. Oh, cool. Yeah. And yeah. so, do you think there's any similarities between you and Mike, like in real life? No. Well, Mike? I mean, I like to th I, I, I like to think I'm a good, nice person. But as right. far as the route he <laughs> took, like professionally and and with education, well, yeah, couldn't just, be more different. Well, really. yeah, yeah, but like his yeah. personality, like he's a nice, nice, nice. Guy um, dating and uh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I read you're a cancer. They're supposed to be really sensitive and nice. I'm yeah, a cancer no, yeah. too. And they she's are. A Virgo. Virgo. Oh, oh, there you go. What's your birthday? September 9th. So two, two, two Virgos, two Cancers. Two Virgos, two Cancers. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I am. It sounds like a sitcom. <laughs> two Virgos, two <laughs> Cancers <laughs> on ABC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I had read that you actually got your start from you quit the Boy Scouts oh and God, then you ended up doing. Is that, is that true? true? Um, yeah, that is <laughs> true. It is. Yeah, I did. Kind of. It wasn't. But wait, how? What was? How did it say? It, it? said that you were yeah, a member of the that. Boy Scouts and then you you quit and then you got a, a job doing an industrial film for them, talking about the importance of being uh, a yeah, scouty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, well, yeah, crazy. I mean, but it's. <laughs> I didn't like scouts at all. It no sucked. <laughs> like, oh it's just boring. And, like, I remember when you were, like, a little kid, before you get into the Boy Scouts, like, you're in, like, Indian guides, where you're <laughs> so young that they don't expect you to, like, make your own fire or build. Oh. You're too young. So all the parents do it, and then you just get to reap all the benefits of being in the woods by campfire. So when you turn into a Boy Scout, they start making you do everything. <laughs> And I'm like, I, I live in Dallas. I don't need to like learn how to make exactly. a water. Exactly, not for Dallas. A yeah. water run. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I did. I so I dropped out, which I think I stayed in like a year more than I wanted to because I was like, my it's gonna hurt my dad's feelings. <laughs> and then when oh. I when I if you are like my yeah. 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 yeah okay maybe yeah. Yeah. I was I young too, something. so I went to him and I was like, Dad, I want to quit Boy Scouts, and he was like, Oh, thank God. And, oh, and I was like, like really? Like being <laughs> Kev? Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly like, like that. Great. Why did he want you to quit? Well, he just was like, I don't like it. Yeah. And he's like, I, I have to chaperone you on these things, yeah. you know, and take off work to go sit in the woods with a bunch of like eleven-year-olds. It's not very fun. 
but yeah. um, but then when I got into acting um, in Dallas, one of the uh, yeah they they cast or when I was there, they were casting a lot of just industrial films, like films for the DMV, and that's like you know paying right, your yeah. dues. You know, you just take anything you can get. I anything, was probably like 13, yeah. 12. No, older than that. But um, yeah, one of the first things I got was this industrial video that I've never seen. I hope one day if I get <laughs> if I get famous enough one day, I hope someone digs that up. That'd be really cool. And puts it I on. I want to see that too. Yeah. I, know. Yeah. I do and I don't. <laughs> Little Jake. <laughs> I know. We'll put that out there for the listeners. Anybody that can dig that video. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Please <laughs> see it and share with all of us. Yeah. That's funny. Well, and you at a really young age, did you have a very successful film at nine that you no. directed? Oh, but, I, no. I directed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't act in a movie. I, I mean, Shameless is my first ever project. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this actually sounds really, really weird. Awesome. But like, mm -hmm. I've always been into like the film business. Not really in it, but I've always been into it. Mm -hmm. So um, when I was like, I used to always like write scripts and stuff, and I still do that. So when I was like eight, I wrote a script, and um, I did an eBay commercial that year, and that was actually my first thing I booked. And um, ah. I used the money to buy a Canon Vixia video camera, and then I shot it in like a bunch of my friends in my houses, and we I just edited it up and stuff. Um, no big deal. You did the editing, <laughs> year old Emma. My mom nice. did the editing. My I mom helped me with that. I can't take credit for all of that, but I did film it myself, and I like wrote the script and directed it, and like casted my friends. I had a little casting session in my backyard. Did you really That's have a awesome. casting session? I did. did. One of my you friends. Made them audition? I kid you not. I one of my Virgo. friends started to cry when she didn't book the first one, and I was like, oh, you know, my God. she's like, I was like, it's like you know, I don't feel your method. That is proper. <laughs> and she's like, ah! This, this is like a whole, this is like an actor version of not getting picked to be on the baseball team. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. No, but then my mom um, entered it in a bunch of film festivals. And um, yeah, I got into a finalist in the New Jersey International one. And wow. um, yeah, I got to go to like, I got to go to the film festival and um, see it on the big screen. All my friends were there. And then oh, we all went out to like get pizza after it. It was really that's fun. Excellent. Little nine year old Emma. Oh, man. <laughs> so there, there's a lot riding on these vines now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there now is. that I know you're a director. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about that. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as, as a follow-up to that, um, you know, when you're doing Shameless, do you ask for a lot of advice on behind-the-scenes stuff? Or, you know, do you watch the scenes mm -hmm. as they're being filmed and, yeah. and take from I, that? Yeah, I mean, I honestly think it's more fascinating than acting. Like, I feel like acting mm. is just truthful in imaginary circumstances. Um, no, but I feel, yeah, definitely. Like, I've always been fascinated. I always, like, ask, like, the camera people if I could hold the camera and, like, look through. And, you know, mm. I always watch. Like, I remember, like, I heard... um one of our directors was saying proscenium and then I, I went home and I, I, I Googled it and I got the definition and it was like the whole kind of camera angles and I thought that was very cool and just like, you know, always asking like the crew members and stuff like their, Motive. Not their motivation. That's an actor thing. This is my actor, Emma, coming in. What's your, what's your motivation? Yeah. What's this your movie? angle? I, what are you John Wells for? told me to. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's my paycheck and my That's motivation. So <laughs> I once asked the director what my motivation was. I literally, I kid you not, I was like, Hmm, what's my motivation? And then he was like, well, this is well, well Emma. Okay. Yeah. 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 Your motivation. I got in this so deep conversation yeah. about Debbie's motivations in life and life story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who, who do you guys, I mean, uh, with Bill Macy on set, Joan Cusack, um, Emmy Rossum, and, and, you know, who do you guys draw most kind of uh, advice from or do you guys take away? And, and especially even John Wells. I mean, mm -hmm. you put him up there. I mean, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> It wasn't right really that. a question. Yeah. But, no, no. Yeah. You go. I mean, I've, I've. Uh, I mean, it's, it's great to work. It's after watching the show and seeing how it all comes together. Like I said, over that hiatus is when I caught up and watched mm. all the episodes. So now coming back, knowing how they actually kind of the pace and how it's put together, what it looks like, and everything, it's really, uh, it's cool to kind of just shadow anybody that's directing our the show. Yeah. Mark's, I love Mark's great. Mark Mylod is perfect. Yeah, our producer, and he's directed a handful of episodes, right? He has. He's, yeah. He actually. Um, he started the the show's based our shameless is based off of a British version actually, right? And uh, Mark is the creator, not the creator, but he's one of like the founding father, the founding fathers. <laughs> <laughs> he is a founding father. It. He's British. That's an American thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a founding father, <laughs> I guess, of like the British shameless, and then he brought yeah. it to America, and um, with John Wells and uh, Paul Abbott are the original creator, who's also Paul Abbott. This is a little fun fact about Paul Abbott. Mm. Um, Paul Abbott, he's the creator. It's based off of his family. Like the Gallagher's, it's basically mm -hmm. him. No, I didn't know. And I once asked him at, at something, I, I asked him who he was out of the Gallagher kids, and he was a mix of Debbie and Lip, and I thought that was the coolest. That's cool. Yeah. And this was back in season one, and I was like, man, I really need to bring you to, I really need to like bring <laughs> yeah. you to Justice Ball, and I, yeah, it was well, crazy. You do. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I hope so. You really Absolutely. Do. I love you, Paul. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you're so fun to watch. We get pretty protective of you with this year because we're not sure of your friends, the choices of Our your friends. Yeah. Well, all, yeah, the people you're Our hanging out with. Motives, her motives, <laughs> Maddie's motives. Yeah. Right. You know, what if Maddie yeah, goes could... all like alter ego Mike and, and mm-hmm. starts to kill Debbie? Alter ego Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's alter right. ego. Yeah. That's great. Graphic novel Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the rated RR yeah. version. <laughs> MA, mature yeah. audience Mike. <laughs> So, and Jake, you have a new project that just oh, yeah, is announced. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, it's, oh, a, it's, a, it's a pilot um, for ABC. It's a half hour, a single camera comedy. And uh, I think right now, I don't know if the title is, because Jeff Lowell created the pilot. So it was the untitled mm-hmm. Jeff Lowell pilot. And it was also called uh, My Thoughts Exactly. Oh. Um, and it's kind of a play on the, it, what it is. It's it's two main characters that um, one is a New York native or has been there uh, a long time and one's fresh off the boat. And they get set up on a date and um, they start like the beginnings of a relationship, like from mm. date one that goes like terribly. <laughs> Um, and all the, the kind of the thing is you can hear what they're thinking, which is very different from what they're saying. So the whole show, you'll be oh, able to hear their so inner monologue. Yeah. You never hear that. I like that. Yeah, yeah it's like cool. That idea. I'll be watching. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's really funny. It's really well written, and I'm excited. And Annalie Tipton's playing the, uh, the girl, mm. and I play the guy. So nice. congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. I look forward to seeing that. Yeah, I'm mean, shooting New York. I've wanted to oh. work in New York so bad. Ooh. Wow. Even with Always the weather. Want. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Can't do it. <laughs> so I'll, excited. I'll do it. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm stoked. Wow. Very, very cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're just about out of time. Yes. Um any any last minute questions, Phil? Uh no. Should we do predictions? Yes. Oh, the, yeah. Predictions. Predictions. Maybe these guys can participate in spoil. We, we already know what's happening, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. You can drop any twilight you want for us. Uh-huh. Everybody's like right. mesmerized. <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to predict something yeah. right now? <laughs> for our characters or for life, just, for politics? Who's going to be the try, next? Oh, yeah. yeah, what's going oh on? God, that is so funny. <laughs> we try and predict like what, what's going to happen next yeah. to the show or what we might see. I mean, I kind of said it a little bit earlier. I'm predicting Mike's going to come in and help Fiona, I hope. I'm actually interested in what you guys have to say. What do you think yeah. is going to happen? Because we know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, we're going to spoil it or we it's going to be a really lie. We could look really accurate. Like we're going to predict. Yeah. This is going to happen. And it'll yeah. be a lie because we're not going to be telling little storylines <laughs> on, on, <yeah>, exactly. <laughs> on live. So you think Mike's going to come I through? I think Mike's going to come through and help Fiona. That's what I'm predicting okay. for the upcoming episodes. And Ian's obviously going to come home. What do you think is going to go on with Ian? Like what, What's going on with that? I think he's Ooh. on drugs. That's what I think. I think okay. he's on drugs. Okay. And they're going to try to help him. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think there's a. You think come back, so you're coming back. I think you said. Are you coming back? No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 tune in. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. Because you said when I come back earlier, and I was like, oh. Okay. Blink uh, once for yes, yes twice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. Yeah. I think there's going to be a big rip between Lip and Fiona, and oh, I, I yes. have a feeling that mm-hmm. Lip might leave school and come back and have to take yeah. charge if she's going to be in. Hundred mm. percent. Uh, in jail. Cool. And I don't think he's going to be very happy about it. Mm. No. From that phone hang up at the end, oh my God, when he hung up on her. And she yeah. Feel, yeah. I feel like their relationship, like as you saw in that little moment, I feel like their relationship could be trashed. That's mm-hmm. my prediction. Yeah. 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 He Here's, I'm really wor- nervous for Lip because he lied to the army, right? Yeah. And so, you know, that could oh, still come yeah. back to haunt him. Oh, yeah. think about that. You know, and so Fiona might not be the only one dealing with the court case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good Good point. point. Possibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Frank's dying over there, so. Yeah. Meanwhile, Frank's dying. Mm-hmm. Um, Lip might go to jail, jail and Fiona uh, is in jail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Liam is in the hospital, as is Frank, and. Uh, yeah. yeah. Here's, I mean, the, uh, the, the teaser, I mean, there, there was nothing Ooh. happy going on in that. No. It's just, we're really, you know, I'm we're nervous for next week. Yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah, the, the tone definitely switched. Ah, uh, you mid- should be. <laughs> it was kind okay. of a happy, like, like a, not a. What am I saying? It was kind of a happy tone the first yeah. episodes up until genuinely halfway through this episode. Yeah. When mm-hmm. Mike and Frank. Mike and Frank. Mike and Frank. <laughs> that's oh, Frank that's Frank my prediction. <laughs> Mike and Frank. Getting sweaty in the sweat lodge. Yeah. <laughs> Getting sweaty. In the sweat lodge. When Mike and, I don't know why I said that. Mike and Fiona when they broke up. <laughs> Did I just kick you? Oh, no, no, no. You're good, girl. Awkward. <laughs> I was really don't mind me. Okay, moving on. Don't mind me. I'm just your guest on the show. Don't mind me. <laughs> don't for your eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but that's those are my predictions. Phil, do you have any? No, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what to think. We're really 
taken down yeah. a bad path. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Preach it. I can't wait for you guys to see. I really Ooh, can't. I'm excited. It's oh. a great season. I know this is one of those shows that I kind of wish is on, you know, Netflix so that I could just oh God, like binge so watch it. No, that's a good one. It's premium, but you know, buy a show type and you guys will. Yeah. Yeah. Nine ninety nine a month. Is that yeah. how much it costs? Yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. I actually love Showtime. It's just that yeah. I like, I, I get so fixed on you guys. Yeah. I want, I'm like, what's next? And then, oh, I know. Wait. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Being current with shows is, is horrible. Yeah. 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 Right? It's terrible. There's so many shows that yeah. I just go back and binge. So hard. And when I get current, I'm like, oh no. no. Yeah. I have to Come wait till every episode's on know. next week and then ugh. nobody wants to wait for anything. No. I watched Breaking yeah. Bad in like two weeks <sighs> and it was the what? best. Yeah. I just did Dang. not do anything. I I'm just, actually with Gossip yeah. Girl right now. And I know the quality between Gossip Girl and Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's me with <laughs> Gossip Girl right now. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Gossip Girl. I'm obsessed. Chuck Bass, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> not sorry. It's great. Oh, <laughs> is that, which one's Chuck Bass? Chuck Bass is Ed Westwick. That's Ed Westwick. Right? Yeah. Oh my God. I love him. Yeah. Nate Shout Archibald. out to Ed Westwick. <laughs> Ed Westwick. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Should please be on Shameless. There you go. <laughs> Do an episode. <laughs> All right. On that note, where can people find and follow you guys at? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> uh, my Twitter is at Emma Rose Kenny. My Instagram is at Emma Rose Kenny. And my Vine is at Instagram as at Emma Rose Kenny. You're so good. Well <laughs> That's me. Uh, I'm so excited I actually have something to say because I just yes, got all these. Uh, my Twitter is at Jake McDormand. Uh, my Vine is at Jake McDormand. Mr. And Bill. my mm-hmm. Instagram is uh, at Jake underscore McDormand. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Doing it good. Thank you. Also, uh, follow my cat on Twitter. At Crazy Cheddar Seven, <laughs> make sure to check that out. Yeah, uh, follow my, my cat ultimate. on Vine. Yes, uh, Mr. Hashtag Boo. Mr. Boo. <laughs> Please do that. Awesome. Our cats are our, yeah. our cats are gonna be famous. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> we I gotta make him a Twitter and then we'll be friends. Can you? Yeah, I can. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Can you zap it? Okay, let's do it. I'll make Cheddar a Vine. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Can you cheddar. get your uh, cat's little guest star on Shameless? Happen. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to learn about that. Yeah. I don't know if they'll listen. Exactly. I don't. I don't know how well well trained he is. Not <laughs> <That> bad cats. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much Dem for coming cats in. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, yeah. you guys. Thanks for guys. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was Thank awesome. you. Such a treat. We're so excited, and it's been just a blast. So cool. we appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.